Hi everybody, Simur here, back again with another video. Uh, today's video we'll be talking about how do we set up a NPM project. So for those who don't know what NPM is, it stands for Node Package Manager. Using NPM, it help, it saves a lot of our time and effort in uh, managing the external dependencies or packages into our project. Uh, so let's begin with the setup. So for NPM, we need to install Node.js into our system. For the ones who already have Node.js or NPM, you can always go to terminal or CMD in Windows or the terminal in Mac and type in the command. Let's check if we have Node or no. If I type Node-V, I have certain version number pops up. That means I have the Node installed. And probably if you have node installed, you should have npm installed as well. So let's do that. Yes, we have that. But if you don't see any numbers, if you have some error saying that command doesn't is not found, then we need to set up Node.js. So just Google Node.js setup. You'll be uh, you'll go to the link, the official link for Node.js, Node.js.org. Go to the pre-built installer, then download the latest version. And depending on which OS you prefer, choose that, then download the installer, run it, and then you'll install the Node.js package. But make sure you close your VS code first before you do that, because I want to check if the Node version and my NPM version is there from within the VS Code's terminal. Right, So you can just close or restart VS Code if it was already open after you install the Node. So npm comes with node again, so that means we are good. Now let me go to anywhere on my PC where I have created my um, working directory. So I'm just going to create a project which is going to be my web or like for example if this is my week one project I'm going to just name it week one. And I'm gonna navigate to this location inside my week one project from VS Code file open folder. Go to my navigate to my folder, and then what I want to do is if I don't have my terminal screen already open in VS Code, I'm just gonna go to view and click on terminal. It's gonna open up this terminal section. So uh, what I have done over here is I've, there are different types of terminal you can use. If you click on this over here, or rather this over here, or whichever, and then you can go to configure terminal settings. Sorry, it was not that one. You can just go to select default profile, and you can choose which terminal you're, you want to use. You might not have bash. I would recommend for Windows user, don't use PowerShell. Use the command prompt at least. All right. Don't use the PowerShell. It will show you over here whether it's a bash or a PowerShell or a command prompt. I can always switch that from here too. I can change it to command prompt. You see now it's CMD. I can remove the older one or make sure it's not PowerShell. That's all. Because com certain commands in PowerShell are written in a different way, right? So I don't want people to get confused on this I'm, I'm just gonna choose bash you can choose again CMD or for Mac it's terminal like this so now let me check if my node version is correct so node space dash V I mean at least it's installed yes it is installed I don't really care about the version for now similarly with npm dash V perfect I have both installed now if I want to clear the screen I can type clear if you're using some other type of terminal maybe you can use cls i think i'll work on that i'm just going to do clear for now now the first thing i want to do to set up an npm project is to enter a command which is npm init initialize the npm project so make sure we are inside the week one folder as soon as you create this um, vs code project and you're inside this week one terminal will also by default go to the same location but if you're if you're not there already just double checking print working directory if you do that i am under week one if you're not over 
inside the week one or the root project you can cd and navigate to that right but i am within my root project already so i am good for now now staying inside the root project what i want to do is i want to type npm in it so either i can type npm in it if i type npm in it it's going to ask me a bunch of questions what is your project name what is your author name what is this what is that a bunch of settings and uh, instead of having to type that uh, one by one or choose the default settings i don't want to customize that so i just want to go with the default one so how do we go with the default one you just type in dash y flag so if i click on that i don't have to set up all of these things manually one by one it's going to just to choose the default settings and what i'm just going to clear the screen what it did was it created a package.json so whenever you see package.json json extension stands for javascript object notation whenever you see a package.json file within your project that means the project is using npm it's an npm project so if you click over here what you can see is all the default settings the name of the project is week one you can change that if you want version um, the main entry file let's not worry about this certain scripts are there author maybe I, if i want to update i can do that but even if i put it blank it's not going to make any difference so that's that so package.json has been created now i want to create i want to make sure that I, my project has external dependencies right that's what why we are one of the main reasons why we're using npm so let's install a dependency so to install a dependency what you need to type is npm space install space and the name of the dependencies right so there are different dependencies millions of dependencies of available in npm what i want to use right now is something known as light server so that it can run my project so that is that and then i want to save it as a dev dependency which is for development purposes and not for actual hosting or production just going to type in dash save dash dev and then hit enter so it's gonna download that dependency and do a bunch of things all right so you see a bunch of things happening it added so many packages um, all of these things so what changes did it make so when we installed the light server dependency there are three changes that was that were made the first one was if you go to the package json you have one more key and value pair which is called dev dependencies remember we installed this as dev so this is dev dependency we have the name of the dependency or the package and the respective version that's the number one thing next thing is automatically created package.log.json log.json which is which contains whole bunch of information which we really have don't have to worry about it's not touch log dot j log package log json and then finally it created node modules so if you go to load modules you have a bunch of things over here and over here if you go to l light server here is your code for the light server so the thing with this is package.json is just like a imagine this is like a sheet which contains information about your dependency and the version that's all but your node module is what that actually contains the code for that dependency so you have the light server code over here right within light server you have all the code is it is a package by itself right so it also has its own package.json right if you go over here you can see it also has its name information it also has its own dependencies so why do we see all of these other dependencies we just installed one light server right so what's going on over here is light server further depends on all of these dependencies these dependencies also depend on further dependencies so when we install light server we are technically downloading all the dependencies that are required for light server to run right so that's why we see all of these dependencies so that is what node modules node modules has the code package.json has the information about the dependency and the version right and package.log is just to maintain for versioning purposes right because when, for example whenever you are downloading 2.6.1 right whenever you do npm install light server 
So there, by the time when the author released some version of Light Server and you downloading that version, the version might change, right? So there might be conflicts within your projects, which we don't want. That's why package log dot package log JSON keeps track of keeps track of the version of the dependency you're inst you're trying to install and all those uh, dependencies that our dependencies depend on and their version. So that is what pack package log json does so we don't touch package log json but we can always update our package dot json now so what are we gonna do over here is if you wanna send our project to someone else this node modules file is gets pretty massive right once you have a lot of dependencies so before we send our project to anyone over the internet we can always delete this node modules because to generate the node modules we basically need the dependencies information and as we know our dependency information is within package.json right so we can already always generate the node modules folder the code from our package.json so what we can do that is how we can do that is just again we have to be uh, located in our root section or where the package.json file is i am there because if i do ls i have package.json package log json and then how do i re how do i regenerate the information of node modules i can just do npm install so this time i'm not doing npm install space live live uh, light server and all the dependencies because i might have a thousands of i might have thousands of dependencies within my package.json i cannot be installing them one by one so if i just type in npm install what npm is going to do is open package.json check how many dependencies are there within my package.json or for my project and then it's going to download them one by one so I just need to type npm install. So let's see what happens. As soon as I do that, it's going to generate the node modules over here based on the package.json file. So whenever you're sending a project to someone over the internet, make sure you delete the node modules file folder. So now that is done. So we haven't used the light server yet, right? So let's make, let's see how do we use that. So light server is a dependency where we can run our project. So for that to happen, let's create a script right now. For example, we have something known as a test script within this, right? So that means if I type in npm space, whatever the, the name of the script is, test, it's going to give me, it's going to execute what's over here in this value, right? So if I type in name test, namespace test and hit enter, it's going to give me whatever's over here, right? So test is something we don't really worry about right now. I'm just going to give comma because again, it's a JSON file. It has comma separate key value pairs. So let me write a script command, whatever I want. For example, I can give it anything I want, but a industry standard would be to use start, right? So if I type in start, npm space start, whatever I have within this quotation quotes is going to execute. So what I want to execute is light server, right? I want to execute this over here so whenever the user types in npm space start i want light server to execute let's save it so now going back to the terminal if i type in npm space start it's gonna automatically run the live server and open the live server but we are getting an error that cannot get so what this is looking for is looking for index.html but we don't have that yet right so what i'm gonna do is just over here in the root directory i'm going to create index.html and i'm going to just create like a boilerplate simple app just just display something maybe an h1 running my npm project so if i do this and then it's like light service or service automatically going to reset the changes uh and if i refresh here we go running my npm project right if i make any changes to this it's gonna reload the changes so that's how we run our html file using npm or maybe set up and and run our npm project so we can have the equivalent css javascript file but the key thing over here is our dependency management is way easier due to npm because imagine if we had hundreds of dependencies right if we didn't have npm what we had to do is we had to copy all of those code of those dependencies 
and place it in the files in our project and it would be so complicated to remove update add dependencies it would be all nearly impossible and that's why npm is a huge a big boon to the dev community so now if you want to stop this again you can always type in control c over here it's gonna stop our light server so that is a pretty basic example of how do you run an npm project or we just play around with one single dependency but you can just go to the internet and check a bunch of npm dependencies and always download that and play around with that in your project so that is the end of the video thank you so much for watching